In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to select a range of cells, multiple cell ranges, and cells in multiple worksheets simultaneously. There are multiple ways to select cells, a range of cells, or multiple ranges of cells in Excel. Sometimes you might even need to know how to select multiple non-contiguous ranges and multiple worksheets to make one single change. This would be much more efficient than making the same change cell by cell. If you're this far along, then I assume you're already familiar with how to select cells, so I will only cover additional cell selecting techniques that you might have not discovered yet. How to select entire rows and columns. To select an entire row or column, simply click on the row number or column letter. Now any commands you click on will affect every cell within the selected column. To select multiple adjacent rows or columns, click on the row number or column letter and while holding the left click button, drag your mouse over the range of columns or rows you want to select. Now any command you click will affect all cells in the rows or columns you've selected. To select multiple rows or columns that are not adjacent to each other, click on the row number or the column letter. Hold down control and select all the other rows or columns you want to include in the selection. To select all rows or all columns, click on a row number or column letter and press control shift spacebar. Now all commands will affect the entire sheet. How to select multiple ranges of cells simultaneously. There may be times that you want to select multiple ranges of cells that are not connected. To do this, select a range of cells, press and hold control, and then select the other range of cells you want to be selected. You can do this for as many cell ranges as you need. Another way to perform this action is to select a cell, press and hold shift, and then click on the opposite corner of the range of cells. Then press and hold control and click the first cell in the next range of cells you are going to select. Now press and hold shift and select the cell in the opposite corner of the range. You can also select a range of cells by manually entering it in into the find and select command. In the Home tab, under the Editing group, click Find and Select, and from the drop-down menu, click on Go To. The Go To dialog box will appear. In the Reference box, enter the range of cells you want to select and click OK. If cell A1 was going to be the top left cell in the range, and cell F20 was going to be the bottom right cell in the range, then you would enter A1 colon F20 in the Reference box and click OK. How to select cells and ranges in multiple worksheets simultaneously. Suppose you have a workbook that contains identically formatted cells in separate worksheets. This could be the case if you had a workbook that contained quarterly sales reports, budgets, scenarios, etc. You might want to make changes to the borders, fill colors, or other types of cell formats. To select cell ranges among multiple sheets, first activate all sheets by selecting all worksheet tabs while holding the control button. Now select the range of cells in the worksheet that is showing. Any changes you make to the format of these cells will be made in the same range of cells in every worksheet that you've selected. When you have multiple worksheets selected, Excel is in group mode. Your title bar should have group next to the file name. If you want to select all worksheets in the workbook, you can right click and from the shortcut menu click Select All Sheets. Note: In group mode, not all commands are available. For example, if you click on the Insert tab, you will see that almost every command on the ribbon is deactivated. 